G'day everyone, it's Wolfie here. Um, I'm just about at the end of my 60 day challenge, uh, which I didn't really do because I thought to myself, I don't think I'm ever going to be that skilled to be able to accomplish that kind of feat. So I just took everything quite easy. Um, but I'm, I'm about at that time where I've uh, finished my, my two months and uh, I want to sort of explain where I where I am, and uh, and it's and the video is really for those of you who think to themselves, well, I'd really like to play an instrument, but um, I really can't see myself doing so. Um, well, I tell you where I am at the moment. Uh, I'm still sort of using one finger to go up and down the frets. I'm very intimidated by uh, chords. Um, I can't do that thing where I've got this nice guitar here, <laughs> which I'll show you. I've shown you this before. This is my um, Hagstrom Viking P. Um, I've seen people do this kind of thing. I can't do that. I, I'm sort of at the point where I'm just doing one finger things. And, and the song that I'm, that I'm enjoying playing at the moment is um, um, Call Me by Blondie because it's kind of like da 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 you know I, I can go up and down the frets and it's mainly the uh, the uh, E string and the A string so which is great uh, I'm not very good at changing strings very quickly I'm sort of going oh where's that G string it's right in the middle there these two I don't have any problem with the one at the bottom I don't have much of a tr much trouble with the G string I, I always find myself having to look at where it is. Just did a harmonic there by accident. That was great. <laughs> anyway, um, so, and you know, Rocksmith uh, sort of got me on my feet. Uh, one of the things that I'm quite unlikely to do is stick with things. And I found that because it was a bit of a game, I could sort of get on there at like 10 o'clock at night and have a bit of a play and just have a bit of fun but one of the things that I found that I, I really I got quite depressed about was I was only making it making it up to about 20% uh, of the song or maybe about 30% at most 50% I'm, I managed to get hungry like the wolf up to 56% at one point I don't really know how I can't seem to um, beat that score now maybe just determination or something I don't know um, but I found that um, other people were getting 90 and 100 percent and I was getting quite depressed about that but then I thought well maybe they've, they've been playing guitar for years you know I've only just picked it up and um, I don't know much about the guitar and and I'm still yeah as I said I'm still finding I'm just starting to try to use two fingers at once um, so baby steps. Um, I, I haven't been looking at uh, Justin guitar much. Um, I just feel a little bit too new to this. And uh, yeah, I'm just not completely comfortable, but I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice about my guitar is it's got stickers everywhere. Um, it's got the, the, the original Rocksmith stickers and it's got some stickers that I bought from eBay that you can get for things and numbers and I have never got on well um, I'm I'm a bit of a writer I've taken on writing short stories and things like that but numbers are something that I and and if something's happening really fast and it's like um, I'm on the 12th fret and I've got to slide to the 16th it's sort of like where is it uh, 12 11 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, there it is, you know. And by then, that time, the note's gone. And it's, yeah. I, so I need something kind of slow. Um, I've seen some songs where there's just a heap of floods. Uh, there's There's been a flood of chords and things like that. And uh, it's kind of scares the crap out of me. And I sort of go, no, you know. I just turn it off and go, no, no, I couldn't. Um, so... Yeah, so so baby steps at the moment. I'm sort of I'm okay with like the seventh fret down to the first, 
I'm sort of okay there. I can sort of, I've got the muscle memory going there. And I'm just trying to get the strings. Um, someone said, put your uh, little finger on here and work that way. And that works for me, kind of. It's sort of all right. I, I do tend to mute the uh, little E string every so often. Um, I've managed to do a few riffs. I can do some riffs now without uh, Rocksmith, which is quite good. So I'll, I'll give that a bit of a go and I'll show you what I mean. I can do a bit of Duran Duran. So it sort of goes. So that's a bit of Planet Earth. Um, I can do a bit of um, Ordinary World. So something's sinking in there, but uh, I couldn't play a whole song and certainly I couldn't play one with chords. So yeah, I've gone from um, this thing where I'm sort of just understanding. Uh, no, I've just sort of gone from this point where I, I have had no understanding of gu guitars at all to this point where I can sort of understand the basic principles. And uh, a little while ago, I quit. I just thought, no, nah, this is just too hard for me. And then I thought, now, oh, hang on, you're being a bit hard on yourself. You're just a beginner. You've picked this up at um, a point that's late in your life. But I, I really can't see it being any more difficult now than it would have been if I'd picked it up when I was a teenager. I'm just one of those people who find doing something physical really difficult. Uh, like I, I'd see people at school with yo-yos doing all these amazing tricks and I was like, well, how the hell do they manage that? Um, and they probably practiced a heck of a lot and I'm not the kind of person who's going to spend a lot of time playing guitar till my fingers bleed. Um, like some people say, oh, my arms are killing me, my, my fingers are bleeding. Uh, that's not me. Um, normally what would happen with me is I would play guitar for a little while, maybe a couple of hours a day, and then I would um, go back to social media and do my social media stuff. And part of the idea of, of me doing this was to get myself off social media and get myself doing something else, uh, as well as walking my dog. <laughs> so, um, and I have been, I have been sitting down playing this. Uh, with Rocksmith, um, it, it is a game, and I don't mind playing the songs, but I really don't like playing the arcade games. I know a lot of people are saying, play the arcade games that are in there that'll teach you all your muscle memory and stuff, but I'm sort of like, nah, it, it's just not, no, nah. and some people are really, wow, you know, shooting zombies, I love it. Nah, I don't like that kind of thing, and I don't like shooting games anyway. I don't like guns. I'm a pacifist. Uh, it doesn't turn me on at all. Uh, I'd really rather just be playing the songs. I know that they're trying to teach me something, but I'm not into it. So, I mean, I just don't ever play games. And it's just that Rocksmith has this promise of teaching me guitar that's got me into this point now where I'm at. Where I'm at. Um, the other thing about Rocksmith that I didn't like was um, I, when I bought it, I thought, well, there's going to be all these songs that I can play. And I looked down the list and there was very few that I knew. Uh, a lot of them were heavy metal and alt rock, which I'm just not into at all. Um, I'm into 80s pop. I don't know whether you can see my records behind me. I've got Say 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 by Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney, which I've just bought. I've got um, a little aha. Uh -huh. Uh, single there. I've got Grace Jones at the back of me and so forth. And those are the kinds of things that I really like. Anything that came out of ZTT basically uh, is, is my thing. And I was really quite disappointed when uh, I looked at Rocksmith and I saw stuff that I didn't know. And, and 
even in the stuff that, that I could buy, there was very little there that, uh, that I heard on my classic 80s radio station that I listened to on a daily basis. So I was really rather frustrated. Uh, just to give you a, a point, um, everyone seemed to know who Lemmy was. And I had no idea. It, it just didn't come up in my radar. So um, uh, no, it wasn't. it's not the kind of music that I would go for. However, if you are you know, into heavy rock and that kind of stuff, then maybe you're going to have a ball. Um, so I'm not going to um, put Rocksmith down for that. It's just that it's a different genre of music that um, I'm not into that much. And, you know, I was quite pleased to see Duran Duran there. At least there was that. So, um, yeah, I was happy there. Um, look, I, I'm, I'm not saying that my experience was a total failure, even though I feel that a little bit. Um, it's, I, I think I was doing really well until the chords started coming up. Uh, once that happened, I, I was in a bit of a mess. Um, I'm finding getting my fingers in the right place really hard. Um, now, I, I think I should be doing that okay, and I don't know why. I find I find when I see a chord, it's like, well, when I see a note coming down in Rocksmith, it's like my brain, if you slow it down a little bit, ooh, it's the red string on fret five, and I'm going like that. And a chord is like, ooh, it's on fret five and, and seven, and I don't know. And by the time I've sort of worked out where the, the chord is, I've it's gone. And if it needs three fingers, I'm stuffed because what's going on is one chord, one string will always be muted. And that frustrates the hell out of me. And I just can't get past that at all. So uh, it, I'm really at a point now where um, I'm going to start looking at Justin guitar because now I've got a basic idea of what's going on with my guitar and, and where everything is, where the strings are and what I need to do. Um, I, I know the basics, and now it's going to make more sense to me. I feel so. I just sort of, I'm sort of one of these people that, if I get a, a gadget, I don't like to read the instruction manual from A to B, A, a to Z. I like to um, fiddle around with it, see how everything connects, see how it sounds and looks, and how it works. And then, if I can't do something, I will consult the manual. A couple of times, I thought I'm going to give this thing away. Uh, it's too hard. Uh, a lot of other people are getting better points than I am, which is always the way with me in, in video games anyway. So, um, and even the, though this is music, it's it's that, you know, I'm just not quick enough, quick enough in my mind and my hands and body to be able to react that, that fast. Um, but I'm going, I want to, give it a try. Uh, and the guitar isn't like a yo-yo. You can't sort of wrap it up and put it away. It's got to, it's going to be out somewhere in my house and I've got stuff everywhere. So it's going to be in view and it's going to be like, play me, play me. So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to keep going with it and, and see how I improve or not. And in the end, it doesn't matter. Uh, I was just talking to a friend of mine who plays piano and she started playing piano very young and um, she said that the best advice that she was given is just play it for yourself. Don't mind what other people are doing. Uh, don't try to be a rock star. Just just be yourself and sit down with the instrument and give it a, give it a shot and, and see how you go. And, and I think that's the best advice. Um, I, I'm not a competitive person by nature but I think there was a little bit of that coming through where I just wanted to be as good as everyone else um, but but I think I'm just going to paddle along until I'm happy I remember <laughs> I remember when I was uh, being taught how to swim years ago uh, I liked a dog paddle and my teachers were trying to get me to do the Australian crawl and uh, other things and I just no I didn't like it I think Part of the problem was I didn't like putting my nose under the water. Um, 
but yeah, I'm very slow with taking things up. So I think maybe, maybe if not in, um, in 60 days, maybe in, in 60 years, probably, um, but maybe we'll see what happens next year, this time next year and see if I've improved any by then. Um, but how do I feel about it? Look, it's like this. Rocksmith is the kind of thing where it's going to be like 10 o'clock at night and you're a little bit, maybe a bit bored and you think to yourself, well, what can I do? Well, I can pick up my guitar and I can have a strum and I can play this game and it will kill, you know, two or three hours uh, or maybe just one hour. Um, if I didn't have Rocksmith, I'd have the guitar and I'd be thinking, I'll get around to learning it eventually. I'll get myself a teacher and it will never happen. So as it stands right now, I'm better off with Rocksmith than not, even though it's not giving me what I'd really like, but it's something, you know. Um, yeah, I would recommend it. If you're thinking about, if you've got that little voice in your head that's going, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, I'll pick up a guitar one day and give it a shot. I would highly recommend getting Rocksmith to at least keep you interested um, and maybe maybe you'll learn how to play it really well or maybe you'll be like me and just be a casual player but it's okay okay so that's where I am at the moment um, and I'm hoping that maybe when I make another video I'll know a bit more than just a riff maybe I won't need all these stickers uh, maybe I'll, I will have learnt something, maybe something's sunk into my head that's allowed me to get over the hump. Um, I really do want to keep going. Uh, and if I do get over that hump, there's going, that's going to be gold because, you know, I'll be able to just pick up my guitar and, and go for it. Um, I must say, here's a thing that, that's uh, changed in my mind as well. Uh, when I'm listening to the radio, and before it was like I had a an air guitar like everybody does and I'm just going, you know, like that. But now I'm sort of going, hey, that's an A string and I reckon that's probably about here on the fret. Um, whereas before I, I didn't know any of that and then I'm listening and I think, I think that's G string and I think that's an A and I think that's a, an E. Um, so that's, that's something that's changed in here. And I didn't think I'd be uh, able to tune into that sort of thought. Um, but I have. So, um, so that's something. Yeah, do get Rocksmith. Uh, it's, it's great. It's, <laughs> it'll keep you going if you're thinking about doing this. Um, I, I hope that there's uh, similar programs for people playing uh, keyboards because that would be extraordinary. Um, I'd really like to play a synth, you know, I've always been interested in synths over the years, so it'd be awesome if you could like plug in a Moog or some, a Moog, a, what is it, Moog? Moog, yeah, plug in one of those or a little Casio or something and just, you know, do the same thing and somehow I think I'd probably be better with that than, than, a, than with a guitar, maybe, I don't know, um, but maybe it wouldn't be quite as difficult with for my fingers maybe you know putting my fingers there should be all right okay that's my thoughts um all the best to you take care bye